So this research focuses on illegal immigration from Mexico, and what it does is it tries to understand individual decision making in the context of an economic model. So it's trying to put some theory behind how people make these decisions, where the main idea is that illegal immigrants are going to move to the U.S. in response to wage differentials. They can earn higher wages in the U.S., that's why they want to move here, but they're also going to respond to border enforcement and that the U.S. government can make it harder to get across the border by increasing border enforcement. And what that's going to do is going to reduce illegal immigration because it's more costly to get across the border. There are a couple of big contributions that this research makes in comparison to previous literature and that there are a couple of angles that I examine that a lot of previous work hasn't looked at. So one is that if you, I think contrary to, you know, perception in the media is that most immigrants move to the U.S. multiple times. It's not people coming to the U.S. once, they go back and forth across the border multiple times. From the context, if you think about increased border enforcement, this becomes really important. If you increase border enforcement, the first effect is that people are going to be less likely to move because it's more costly to get across the border. But there's a secondary effect in that if you think about the perspective of current migrants, if a current migrant is thinking about going home, they know that if they go home, they might come to the U.S. again in the future. So if you increase border enforcement, they know that once they're home, it's going to be harder to get back into the U.S. in the future. So what this actually does is it makes them less likely to go home because it just makes living at home less valuable because they know it'll be harder to get into the U.S. in the future. So what it does is it increases the amount of time that they stay in the U.S. And I'm able to account for this both theoretically and empirically, and I see that this actually plays a role, that as you increase enforcement, fewer people move, but people stay for longer periods of time. The other big contribution of this paper is that I don't just look at border enforcement as, say, the total amount spent on enforcement. What I do is I look at enforcement at different points along the border. And so what you've seen over time is that as the U.S. government has increased border enforcement, they've really increased it at the main points where people cross, which is mostly, say, San Diego and Arizona. So from um, the perspective of the government, there's no point in putting extra resources there because the geography pretty much covers it on its own.